Morning, YouTube friends and family. Welcome to the weekend. <clears throat> oh, the ducks are out. Hey, honkers. I thought for sure the twins had left without letting out their ducks, but that's not the case. Andrea's just taking the twins off to a mountain biking extravaganza, a six hour mountain biking. Um... What are you doing, buddy? So I'm sure that they're getting wet and having fun in the mud with their uh, loaned mountain bikes. Anyway, I still have to finish yesterday's vlog. I'm just kind of taking it easy this morning. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Thanks for coming with me. Finding myself a little restless this Saturday, just sort of bumping around. So I've decided to do a small home improvement project. It's something that I've been staring at for years and years and years that I've wanted to finally finish. It's just the little door that goes up into my attic. There's a hatch there and a panel, but I never trimmed it out. So sort of an easy bite-sized project. So there's two basic components I need to cut. One is the extension jam, and that is the piece of wood which extends from the top of the opening down to the bottom of the finished ceiling. That will cover all the scabbiness. And then there's the casing which will go flat up against the ceiling, which are the longer parts that you more notice. This will be my casing, and my extension jam I still need to dig up, but. Then I'm just gonna, you know, sand it and pocket jig it, which will be kind of interesting, and glue it up and 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 fit it. And then it should all be one piece. I can just whoop, put the whole thing up in and just like put four or eight nails in it and be done with it. However, I'm gonna pre-finish it. So I'm gonna put the hard wax oil on um, in the basement. That's what I'm up to. I could not find any pine for my extension jams. So I'm gonna use Douglas fir flooring. What the heck? It'll be pretty. extension jams together basically into a box so that um, I can then attach my casing directly to it so I can put it all up and in place in one piece. I'm going to pre-drill through here for some screws, glue and screw the corners.
I will be joining two pieces of wood as if by magic. The pocket jig is used to create uh, a, a hidden fastening on the back of a wood, on the back of the wood. So what I'll do is I'll drill these slanted holes through this wood so that when the screws go in at an angle, they don't come out the front. And they suck it in and the glue joint sticks together real well. And then I'll have, I can do that on all four corners and have, just like I built, a box or a square to set on my box for the finished product. Oh Christ, I did it on the wrong side. Alright, I just chose to flip it over and use the back side. It has this little ding in here, but whatever. It's my house, I can do that stuff, right? I have this special flat clamp here that I can use to put the flat clamp on the finished surface. And clamp these two together so that as I am screwing, they'll stay in place, and that helps a lot. Because when you're screwing screws at an angle, it wants to tow your wood up, so it might create an unevenness here as I'm screwing. So I gotta keep it all clamped up. Now these aren't normal screws in a normal bit. These are special hardened screws that won't snap under pressure with a square drive. And it's a very thin shank on the bit because it's at such an angle and you need to go in so deep, it needs to be very narrow. Okay, see, there it is. Now I can just attach that to my box. That'll get attached all together. I'll, you know, test fit it. And then uh, once I like it, I'll put the finish to it and then I'll be able to install it. Uh, so, I, it's too big. I got my dimension wrong. I wasn't paying attention. That's too big. This is too big. It's too big. It's too big. Now I need to cut everything down, break my glue joints. Ah, uh, what a... Hmm. minutes later <laughs> I have recovered from my brain fart and I believe now now I have something I can be proud of that will actually fit and I'm gonna double check that right now yes yes okay that will fit That's ready for the test fit. All right, that's a done deal. I just need to put my hard wax oil on it, and that'll take a couple days to get two coats on. It takes about a day to dry per coat. 
But, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you've heard me say this before, there's just a certain irony that, you know, I'm a carpenter. That has been unfinished for 15 years. Godzilla, what's going on, man? Man, it's four o'clock already. 1,600 hours for all you Europeans. Where's my day gone? This is uh, called a shad bush. Its Latin name is Amelenchier. They call we call it shad bush in this part of the world because, generally speaking, whenever this tree is flowering, the shad, which is uh, another name for alewife, are running in the rivers. They come out of the ocean and they run up into the rivers and they do their thing up there and and um, and then they head back out. And so this time of year when the shad bush is flowering, we know that the alewives or the shad are running in the rivers.